Good morning guys and welcome to another vlog. So today is actually going to be a bit of a random one, but I am starting today's video by going to pick up my new iPhone from Apple. I'm annoyingly having to go to Bristol because the store in Bath didn't have my new phone available. So I'm going for a new iPhone 14 Pro, I think? Pro Max? I don't know, they literally have gotten so long, the titles. Do you remember when it was just like, iPhone, Blackberry, just really simple. <laughs> My current phone is an iPhone 13 Pro, which I use for pretty much everything. So I use it for videos on Instagram, editing Instagrams, TikToks, all of that stuff. So I use my phone all the time. So I have decided to upgrade straight away just to benefit from the new camera and all of that stuff. So I will show you that a bit later as well. And before that, I'm gonna pick up a few packages which are unboxed with you when I get home. And then I'm also gonna do a little bit of a haul, I think, from Tiger. I just wanna pop in and get a few things Yesterday was the bank holiday for the Queen's funeral, so we stayed in most of the day and watched that, but did pop out in the afternoon just to get a coffee, and we walked past Tiger and Bath, and there were... Uh, actually, is it called Flying Tiger now? Maybe it's Flying Tiger. Not sure if that's just in America, but it used to be Tiger. But I saw a few things in the window that I wanted to get, so hoping to get those but I'm actually about to be running late for my Apple appointment and I hate being late for things. So I'm gonna head to that and we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Okay, sorry, I'm talking about being late, but I just wanted to quickly show you, well, ignore all the other mess, but show you the autumn stems that I've got from Hello Petals. These are preserved autumn leaves and yeah, I think they add such a nice pop of colour and warmth to the kitchen. I'll show you properly them soon. I'm also doing a bit of a getting our home ready for autumn this week. So these will be included in there, but couldn't resist quickly showing you guys now. How pretty. Okay, so I'm fairly sure the lighting is rubbish. <laughs> But I've just picked up my new iPhone and it feels really weird because I haven't opened it yet. I think the genius, um, they are geniuses in my eyes, but I know some people don't like that term. But they've put my SIM card in the new phone, so I'll open that up properly when I get home. But thought I would quickly show you the bits that I got from Flying Tiger, which it in fact is, I looked at the sign. I got a few nice things and it was such a bargain, so especially around this kind of coming into the new season with autumn here and winter approaching, I love getting organized. So I really wanted to get some new things like this. I know you won't be able to see, oh, is it gonna focus? The lighting is so, oh. Okay, my camera just fell over, but you don't really need to see, but essentially it's a diary that kind of has in it um, different sections for like projects you're working on, weeks, meetings, to-do lists, inspiration. I just love a notebook and that was six pounds, so really happy with that. I also got a notebook for monthly things that are happening, so it's a bit bigger and it essentially, which I love because I'm not very good at doing it every single day, um, but it has just like month planners and you can write the month so you don't have to do every month. So if for some reason you're on holiday and you just don't want to do it, you can just skip a month. So I like that a lot and it means that it can last for quite a few years and will just sit on top of my desk. So very happy with that. And then I got this dish scrubber. Okay, it's not focusing on it, but it's a small dish scrubber, as you can see, which I just think looks really cute, sat next to the kitchen. This one was three pounds. You see them online for sometimes like 10 pounds. Um, it's really nice, it's just wooden, really simple, so I'm gonna sit that by my kitchen, very practical. And I got this love is love card because it was in the sale for 25p and I just thought it's cute and I'm gay, so love is love. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head home now, but just thought I'd show you that because for all of it, it was 15 pounds, so it can't really go wrong. <laughs> I'm back home and just gonna open up some of the packages that I collected, but I've just realized that I am wearing a hat today in a very casual outfit, but pretty much everything is in the wash post holiday. And we've come back to a broken washing machine, which is very frustrating. So I'm just wearing comfies and I also just couldn't bother to wash my hair. So wearing a hat, I don't know if anyone else does this, this is probably pretty inexcusable as a man, but 
I washed my hair, oh god, a couple of days ago now. <laughs> but I'm getting a haircut tomorrow, so I've kind of just left it so that my hairdresser can do it for me. Sorry if you're watching. <laughs> yeah, so I just thought I'd open these things up for you guys. I'm not sure what any of them are, so yeah, we'll see if there's anything interesting. Do you know, I don't know if this is possible, but I'm possibly the worst at opening packages ever. I just can't, honestly, how long I've got a timer on here? It's been three minutes I've been trying to open one package and it's not even big. I'm in. Ah, I forgot about this. Hi Toby, please find and co closed a few gorgeous Bramley products for you to try and enjoy. Best wishes. That is so nice. So this is how it's arrived. Bramley, for those of you that don't know, is a luxury skincare home fragrance, kind of a bit of everything range, which I actually really love because they use their product at, God, which hotel is it? Is it Dormy House? I can't remember, a few nice hotels that we go to, kind of in the Cotswolds area, use them, but they are making really big efforts to be more sustainable, and someone from their PR team reached out and asked if I wanted to try some, and obviously could not turn them down. Oh, that's so nice. So, the first thing that's in the package is this diffuser, so it's called a soothing diffuser with chamomile, lavender and geranium oils. Perfect for a bedroom actually. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like, but as I think I've mentioned in this vlog, if not another one, I'm working on our bedroom kind of on and off at the moment, so kind of keeping things aside for that space and I think this one will work perfectly. Oh, that's so nice. So it's really, really simple. It's just got their logo, the B there, and it's a really nice white ceramic. So perfect for like a bedside table. Even in the kitchen, that would look really nice um, in like a more neutral room, I think. So yeah, really happy with that. And it obviously comes with the reed um, sticks as well. So yeah, that's really nice. I'm also gonna have a look online and check if they do do refills for those i'm sure they would but i tend to just kind of replace the sticks for my diffusers and then buy a fragrance whether it's the same brand or a different and just kind of top it up so that i can keep the glass jars that i like and also better in terms of sustainability okay this one is wrapped up like this but just so you can see obviously the wrapping is all very good this is the recyclable brown tape that they've used Oh, I've just remembered I needed to get sellotape from Tiger. Okay, well. So yeah, there's no plastic that I've seen so far. So yeah, very happy with that. Oh wow. But I'm honestly so, so happy about all of this stuff. This is such a treat. So it is the hand wash and lotion, which we actually needed new hand wash and lotion for the kitchen. We're nearly out of the wash, but the lotion, there's still quite a lot left. Does anyone else have that? It's kind of like shampoo conditioner. You use one way quicker than the other. Very annoying. Yeah, these are really nice. The same flavour, lavender geranium and, oh no, this one's slightly different, and petite grain. They are glass jars, which I love because, again, you can just refill them. No plastic. They feel nicer, more luxurious. So, yeah, really happy with those. And they've got really pretty pictures on as well, which is nice. God, thank you so much, Bramley. This is honestly such a treat. And then the last thing in there, so this is a candle, which is rose, absolute, spearmint, and peppermint. It comes in a box like this. This would actually be such a nice birthday gift, just like one of these things. Or obviously, oh my God. That smells so good. I'm a sucker for a nice candle and I absolutely love, love, love. I don't know if you can see it. There. <laughs> love how this one looks. Again, just really simple. And I'll probably keep this one in the kitchen because I think the mint makes it smell really fresh and 
well mint is kind of an ingredient you, you'd use in the kitchen so again kitchen bedroom kind of vibe something quite fresh and uplifting so nice god really really chuffed with that what a lovely lovely treat okay next thing is these paint samples from little green that i did order myself i'm actually working on a project in our house just updating a room that i have mentioned on here before that i got slightly wrong sorry struggling to open the package yeah i got it slightly wrong before so i just want to kind of update the color to feel a little bit more me um, but i'm also planning on using one of these colors in a project that's coming up so i thought i'd order the samples and then i can kind of test it on my wall as well as test it on my clients so two birds one stone i haven't ordered any samples from little green in a while but i can't remember them coming like this before so a really cute little box i've got two shades here um, so one of the paint colours is Elysian Ground and the other is Chocolate. Um, let me show you, see how well, probably won't really be able to see the colour, but that one is kind of a muddy green, a bit paler, and that one's like a deep chocolatey brown. It's actually a really good alternative to using black paint if you're wanting to go darker, but you maybe don't have so much natural light or you've got a north facing room but you want to go moody anything with kind of a chocolatey undertone is going to be really good so yeah they will get tested probably over the next few days and then they also sent a little brush which is really cute such a nice touch for a brand to do and it's actually a really good brush as well so yeah very happy with that and looking forward to trouble and a cup of tea god very happy with that. Little Green have upped their game. And again, no plastic, all paper. I feel like that should just be the norm by now, but as you may see in a different package, it isn't. So this one looks exciting. I can actually briefly remember speaking with Sofa.com. Oh, okay, so. I recently worked with Sofa.com on a new armchair, which I'll put a photo of here, which I am obsessed with, and so many of you guys loved it as well. And yeah, they asked a few weeks ago, which I have forgotten about since holiday, if they could just send a little package, which obviously I'm so grateful for. So it says Escape into Bliss, which is kind of their new autumn tagline and approach. There are some cards in there with some of the new pieces. This isn't an ad at all, by the way. They just kind of wanted to send some more information, I think, following having worked together on Instagram. So they've popped all their new pieces in. There's my new armchair. That's the design, which I love. This is the, it's called Shelby. Ours is in a champagne boot clay, which I love. But yeah, there's lots of other really good designs, so definitely worth checking them out. Oh my god, this is so nice. Fabrics wrapped up, so loads of new things for autumn winter, which I'll add to my fabric collection. There's a scented candle in there, which is looks like a collaboration from Matthew Williamson. Um, so looking forward to smelling that. What flavour is it? Oh, English Garden. Flavour. Scent, should I say. This is so nice. From the Tartan Blanket Company, there are some cashmere socks in denim colour. And yeah, look how cute they look. So nice. They're really, really soft as well. Talking about sustainability, there's a postcard in here which talks about the positive impact pledge from the Tartan Blanket Company. 2% of the purchases donated to charities protecting the planet helping those in need. Again, this package has no plastic in it. Everything is paper, so very, very grateful for that. The last thing is a little bottle of Moet, which, yeah, it's really, really sweet. I was actually calling this Moet for years, and then someone corrected me recently, saying that it was, in fact, Moet. So, there we go. Moet is what I call it now. A massive thank you to sofa.com for that. That's so nice. I think I'm gonna actually wrap everything back up and then leave it for Mikey to have a look at when he comes in because I like to show him kind of these nice things as and when they come in because you know, it's a it's a perk, isn't it? A perk of the job and you need to you need to really appreciate these things whilst they're there. 
Kind of like in my one of my old jobs, you got to have a day off of work for your birthday. And I remember being like, every birthday, every time I get that day off, I'm gonna make the most of it because not all jobs do that. Or finishing early on a Friday, anything like that. I'd be like, let's go to the pub because this won't always happen. One last package. This one is probably not as exciting for those of you that don't own dogs, but I know that this one is from tails.com. God, I'm frantic. Let me just move some boxes. I've just opened the package and it says, Toby, Stormy and Ziggy, which is so cute. Bon Appetit! Oh my god, do you remember all of those memes ages ago that said, like, making fun of Bon Appetit? It was like, bony apple teeth! Can't remember if anyone's... Oh, There's confetti inside! Have to clear that up later! Thanks, Tails.com! <laughs> Dear Toby, I'm so delighted to be sending you Tales.com's newest launch, the Party Pack, perfect for celebrating birthdays or just as a little something extra so you can include your pups in your own celebrations. Hope you love it and enjoy spoiling Stormy and Ziggy. From the team at Tales.com. That is so nice. How cute is that? I'm going to put that out in a minute. Oh my god, this is adorable, guys. If anyone is having a pet birthday, Please look into this. So this says party pack for and then you can write the name. So Ziggy's birthday is actually in January and Stormy's is in April. So we won't use this for their birthday, we'll just use it as a little treat. So it says, it's my party and I'll zoom you if I want to. Oh my god, our dogs get the zoomies and don't you know it. <laughs> Probably easier to show you guys this way round, but this is just so cute and would make such a nice gift as well for like a friend's dog or for your own dog. So party biscuits, it's an arty party. Oh, that is so cute. Use the icing to turn your biscuit into a showstopper. So you can ice a cake for them. And then in here, this is literally adorable. Holly the octopus. It's a squeaky toy and then a rope. Do you know, they will love this because they can obviously pull on each of those. And then this is salmon bites and then chicken bites as well. And then that is so cute, a little apron or what are they called? A bandana. I need to just check the fat content and just make sure Ziggy can eat them because he's not very good with treats, but we do have some special ones for him. So he can have the toy and the clothes and then Stormy can have the treats. <laughs> that was honestly such a nice package to receive. Well, all of them were, but yeah, I'm really, really grateful for all of those things. And yeah, well definitely, well, I'm already a customer of Bramley. We use Tails.com for Ziggy anyway. Let me show you actually his food. This is what we order for Ziggy. So it's, it says high quality protein, dental care, growth, health and vitality. And we do one that's pancreatitis friendly and is good for all of his stomach problems. We've approved it all with our vet and they said that it's probably one of the best ones you can get for his condition. And we get a new bag like every few weeks. I think they just come through automatically or Mikey does it. <laughs> But we are a buying customer from them, Sofa.com, Bramley, and obviously Little Green I brought myself. So yeah, it's really nice to be able to show these things to you guys and hopefully you can see something that you find interesting as well. Right, I'm actually going to have my first coffee of the day, which is pretty good because it's half 11. So I've made it till now with jet lag as well. I'm um, going to have that, tidy all of this stuff up and then do a little bit of planning for the next couple of weeks. And then we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So I've just whipped up a salad for lunch. It does not look good, but it's healthy and I need that after the, sorry, after, after the American food. But this is... Just a mixed salad with red onion, avocado, some spring onion, tuna, drizzle of olive oil, and then I popped some cashew nuts on as well. I thought I'd show you my new iPhone. I still need to kind of go through, but it's just turned on and synced. Um, you can't really see the color, but sorry, ignore all of the mess as always. But it's a kind of like pale yellow gold color. This is the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Um, the screen is always on, which I'm finding like that. 
which is good because you can obviously see the time. But yeah, finding it a bit tricky to get used to that. <laughs> um, really need to order a case. But I just wanted to show you this planner because you couldn't see it properly earlier. But it has all of these sections. So as you guys can see, inspiration to do meetings week and then what's that one? Projects and trips. So I just really like the idea of kind of being able to have a one-stop shop that I can keep on my desk, kind of write ideas down. Um, because I am a massive sort of journaler, is that the word? I don't know. But yeah, love stuff like this and it's six pounds from a Flying Tiger. I have got really bad hat hair, so ignore that, but just wanted to show you guys how fluffy Stormy is right now. <laughs> she had a bath a couple of days ago and she looks massive on camera, but she's still pretty small. We don't think she's gonna get that much bigger and neither do does the um, vet that we last saw, but she's just in desperate need of a groom. If I show you, she's like a furball. Look how long. <laughs> she is very fluffy and we've been bathing her like once a week normally. Mm. Although she does like rolling around in mud, so I'm sure it's gonna have to be more frequent in the winter, but yeah. Say hi, Stormy. Say hello. <laughs> You'll be glad to know I've got my hat back on now so you don't need to witness my awful, awful hair. <laughs> but I am just in the dining room and wanted to show you some pieces that I've been sent from a small business called Fox and Bow. So they're relatively new I think but I've been chatting to the owners Sophie and Polly for a little while and they are such nice people and they're doing really really wonderful things and if you watched my last haul where I showed lots of pieces from Target and from America I think you're really going to love this brand I'm probably going to want to get in there and buy some bits soon I am going to be buying more but yeah it was very kindly sent these things from them to share with you guys the first thing that I was sent and something that I'm completely obsessed with is this I honestly love this so much. So if you can't tell, it's a seagrass bowl. This is very Studio McGee, Amber Interiors kind of vibe. It's got a lot of texture to it. Just to show you the one that I got in America. So this is one I got from America. It's obviously very warm. I'm planning on keeping this one in the center of the dining table because we have a light that's quite low and because it's flat, I'm thinking it's good for like napkin, salt and pepper shaker, etc. And then this I'm gonna use in a f as a fruit bowl in the kitchen. I'll probably pop some like apples and stuff in there because they go with my autumn colors. <laughs> so yeah, really delighted with that. And I think, yeah, this is the kind of piece that I would use in a lot of styling jobs, whether it was on a bookcase, on an island like I'll be doing, on a console table with some like, well, anything in, potpourri, some shells, some, just ornaments, anything. So really, really pleased with that piece. The next thing from Fox and Bow is this really gorgeous vase or pot. It's got quite a weight to it, which I always really like. And as you can see, it's got a really lovely kind of crackled, distressed texture. Um, the color is a really warm, sort of pinky terracotta. Um, and then it's obviously got the white going through it. But again, just popped on the side with some dried autumn stems or faux if you'd rather. I think that will look really pretty. And again, they all have a really good price point. So I'm gonna pop the links down below for you to have a look at. The next thing from Sophie and Polly at Fox and Bow is this, if it's gonna focus, candle, which is really cute. And this smells almost identical to the Jo Malone Myrrh and Tonka candle. And um, it is the same fragrance, Myrrh and Tonka. It's soy and coconut oil, so good for the environment. It's not gonna leave like nasty black marks in your home. It smells strong, fresh, and perfect for these seasons when it's kind of transitional between summer, autumn and winter, especially in the UK right now with global warming crisis. That's the story for another day. Yeah, really happy with that and also love how it looks. It would work in kind of any color room. This next piece I absolutely love and I think lots of you guys will as well. Um, I'm planning on using this in our bedroom or in the living room on the shelves. 
but it's a little wooden box. If anyone watched my video where Mikey did a homeware haul, you'll know that he tried to order something like this, but it was huge. Um, so when I unboxed the package and I wasn't kind of aware what was coming, I was so delighted to see this in there. It's got a really, really cute gold handle and then it lifts up and it's just a wooden storage box. It also opens all the way, which is really handy. Um, a lot of them kind of stop here just because the levers like don't go back the levers the hinges um and yeah i thought this would be really good on a dressing table with like serums in or maybe just as a styling piece on some bookcases or you could put playing cards postcards stamps kind of anything in there even like birthday cards you know the small ones thank you cards just a really handy and pretty storage box um again from fox and bow and then the last, but by no means the least, <laughs> my least favourite piece is this really adorable milk jug, um, which again just has a really lovely kind of warm colour. You can see around the top there's kind of a mustard detail and there's a really nice speckle going through the jug as well. And I just really love this kind of simplistic shape and think it would work well either as a purely practical piece, so if you got it out and you had people over for tea or for breakfast, or if you wanted to use it on a bookcase, a kitchen shelf, just anything, I think that would look really pretty. I'll probably pop mine on the open shelving in the kitchen just to add something slightly more textural than the white Sophie Conran pieces we have there now. But that is all the pieces from them. I will style them up in another video and over on Instagram, but please do check out their shop. As always, it's so nice to be able to support a small business and I'm already doing lots of planning on Christmas presents and stuff and we'll definitely be ordering some pieces from Fox and Bow for my mum this year because she's moving house in a few weeks time, which is really bizarre. Um, so I'll show you her, her house actually before she moves because it's a really pretty house and they're not completely sure where they're going to be moving yet, I don't think. They might be by the time this video goes out, but they've got places to go in the meantime, so that's good. <laughs> Do check their website out, I'll link it below and I hope you guys like those pieces. Everyone say hello to Ziggy. Hi Ziggy. He looks so displeased. I just wanted to show you guys that Ziggy is still here and kicking on you bubs. He is honestly the best boy in the world. And just to give you guys a bit of a pup date, he has been getting on really well with Stormy. Um, whilst we were away on holiday for two weeks, we did actually separate them, which I think was good. Not that they've not been getting on, um, but Ziggy spent some time with Mikey's parents and then Stormy went with my or and Mikey's friends which was amazing they all did us a massive favour but yeah they were actually really happy to see each other which was cute when we got them back um, they've had a couple of little scraps um, but they're kind of getting used to each other again now and I also just think it's normal Stormy apparently was playing with the people who looked after her's dog so I think it's just very normal, but we're not used to it with Ziggy because we just don't really put him in situations where he's with other dogs because he hates it. So, yeah. <laughs> but basically just wanted you guys to see that he is here and I'm not giving Stormy any more attention. He just doesn't really like being bothered and he likes doing his own thing. He chills outside in the sun, especially in this autumn weather because it's not too hot for him. So when we kind of get that autumn sun, he can just lounge outside and sleep. I honestly do believe that this is the laziest dog in the world. Like, he's been in bed all day. I put him outside for a wee and he led just on the stones, just sleeping straight away. He didn't want to eat his food. He just loves sleeping. and. I mean, that's fine. We take, try and take him out every day. He doesn't always want to come, but he went out this morning, so he's now just going to have sleepies. Please comment below now if your dog is anything like this or the complete opposite, because I'd love to know if it's maybe just us, but especially if you have a chihuahua or another small dog, please let me know what their temperament is, because look, he's literally falling asleep. Down he goes into my arms. 
I have popped Iggy in bed, but I just wanted to show you guys my new iPhone properly and show you the box and kind of how it comes because I know some people are really into tech and all of those things and also ask me how I make content. So I thought I'd kind of run through that quickly with you guys as well. So this is the new iPhone box. It's the 14 Pro Max, as I mentioned earlier. <coughs> So in the box, um, it just comes like this, the iPhone sits here, there's a little manual thing I think, and then just a charging cable. We actually don't need that, we've got loads of chargers, so I'll leave that in the box, or if anyone kind of wants it, like family or friends, then I will make sure it goes to them. And then this is the new iPhone, which is all set up now, so mine is in like the gold colour. Disclaimer, I'm really bad with technology, so I don't know the ins and outs of everything. I just scrape by. Um, I'm just on the Apple upgrade plan, so I upgrade my phone every year, so that it means that I have a good camera and everything works smoothly, because I read a rumor once that Apple like make sure that their products break after a year or two, so I, as soon as I hear something, then that's all I can think about, so I want to make sure I have the newest one. The main difference I would say that I've noticed, I've only been using it for a short while, but is that the, there's this like island thing on the top, excuse me, which I think, I don't really know how you use it to be honest, but I think, as far as I'm concerned, you, so if I go on a podcast, so this is Susie Benaldi, I love her podcast, if you haven't listened to it, make sure you do, I've got an episode from today to catch up on. I think if I'm playing something, and then I go off of it, it yeah, so you might see it's gone up there, I can then click on it and kind of like control music and videos and stuff from that little island, so I mean, I don't know how useful that would be, but that's it. And then the other really good thing is the camera. I think it's 48 megapixels. The guy in the shop was trying to tell me, and honestly, it goes straight over my head. Um, but I'll take a quick picture, and you guys can see what you think. I mean, it looks fairly similar to my old phone. Um, actually, no, it's pretty good, obviously. The kitchen is a mess there, I need to do the washing up and stuff. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good actually. Okay. Yeah, I'll give it to him. Maybe I'll take another. I've just been making lunch and stuff, but you can kind of see straight there, everything is really good. Oh, this is close up on my face. Everything is very good quality. There's that new jug I just popped up. <laughs> um, so yeah, pretty happy with that and excited to kind of making some new content and yeah, so far so good, but I'll let you know how I'm getting on with it. I need to order a case because I'm super duper clumsy and I drop my phone all the time, so I'll order one of those now and yeah, show you what I get, but I might get something a bit of fun as a case. Selfie. <laughs> Right, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I need to do some editing for tonight's video. Not tonight when you're watching this, because you'll be watching this, but tonight in real time, as I haven't started editing yet, and it's already four o'clock, so I've got about two hours to get that done, so maybe there won't be a video tonight. <laughs> God, that was a whirlwind. <laughs> I'm then gonna have a bit of a pamper evening. I'm getting a big haircut tomorrow, and I've been clearing my wardrobe out as well. Um, over the weekend since getting back from Florida. So, gonna crack on with that, and I will catch up with you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe to my channel and give the video a big thumbs up. Thanks guys, bye.